Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Civil 3D Cocoa points now. So we're going to continue from the previous exercise. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start importing some data set into my drawing and then create Cocoa points from it. Okay, to start with, we're going to the tool space, go to the prospector, and we got the points on the top. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click on create. So that brings a flyer toolbar. So the flyer toolbar, there are a few things of um, few things we need to remember. Just a word of caution. So first is um, whenever you've done a particular function, that means you you're working on a particular particular operation, and once it's done, make sure that you always have a habit of closing the flyer toolbar, because keeping it open sometimes might cause some issues. So it's just in the case of let's say if it's an alignment, this flyer toolbar is specific to one particular alignment. So if you keep it open. If you come back after lunch or something and then you think that, okay, I got my geometry data, let me go and create my alignment 2. But what you're doing is you're still continuing from alignment 1. So it's just waste of time. So just close the flyer toolbar once you're done with it. Simple as that. And the second thing is, if you're not sure what to do with the flyer toolbar, what are these tools and how do I start? Start from left and the, the, the concept is the simpler tools will be on the left side, more complex one will be on the right side. So let's get started with creating a cocoa point so first click on the drop down on the very first one I'm gonna click on manual so watch your command line if you're not sure what to do just watch your command line it is gonna give you instructions so it is asking go and pick a location on your screen I can type in a location 0 comma 0 or anything like that or I can click and now it's asking for a description so I'm gonna say this is gonna be street light it's asking for an elevation, so I'm going to give an elevation of 250, and the point is created. So this is your Gogo point. This is your Civil 3 point. So this is different from your AutoCAD point. So how it is different? So now, as you can see, once the point is created, it it has got two elements into it. So first one is your point marker, another one is your point label. So it has got two grips in here. So the middle group that you see the diamond sign is basically moving the actual point into a different location and the square group is actually to move the label and once you move your label you get little plus signs around so that's basically to add a vertex into your leader you can delete it you can delete the leader and if you want to reset it you can select it right click and there is an option to reset label and also there is an option that says pin label pin what happens is when you pin it your label sticks into that location so when you move your point your label will be on that location so that is the basics of creating a cocoa point from scratch so all these tools up here from here until here all these ones are for creating the cocoa points you can go through these ones it's for creating the cocoa points modifying it moving it managing it it's all for doing those cocoa points from here to here all right so thanks for watching guys and uh, keep watching more tutorials. I'm going to put in more videos in there and uh, make sure just go to the description box and download the exercise files. Uh, yeah, enjoy Civil 3D.